I'm going to show you how to pull off a 30% return on an out-of-state rental property. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks, the show where I help everyday people like you, everyday people like my man Carson, pull off real estate deals, make money, learn about real estate, right? You want to do deals with me in the Cleveland market? We got you covered, right? We got we got the whole team, property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, your whole one-stop shop. We got that for you. You're just here to learn. That's great. We can help you learn some things. Today, you're going to learn how to put together a Burr deal. Buy, rent, renovate, refinance, repeat. Okay, you're going to learn how to put one of those deals together out of state and make as much as 30%. Carson, I know you love them bird deals, and I know you're going to love making 30% on your money, brother. So let's get into the details right now. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Bolton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. Let's get into the details on this Burr deal, right? Burr! Acronym! Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. I'm sure you've heard it. They talk about it on Bigger Pockets. You Google it, it's everywhere, man. Moral of the story, you buy a cheap house, a cheap house like this bad boy, okay? You got to renovate that cheap house, right? It's got to be a messed up house. And this thing, this thing takes the freaking cake, right? Like this picture doesn't look like too horrible or nothing. It's like, okay, whatever. It's just like a low income rental, JYs. But then like it starts to get more, right? You see this? Like the house is like unfinished. That's drywall. There's no flooring. Exposed drywall over there. Like even in this picture, right? You can see it up here. Like, it's just unfinished, screwed-in drywall, dude. This, like, house is like a construction zone. It's like a... This whole thing is all jacked up. Look, it's, it's just like an unfinished house. It's just, like, raw. Like, look at this thing, right? According to the agent, there's, like, a tenant in there. But I think it's one of those scenarios where it's, like, the owner's, like, handyman is just, like, staying there. Because, uh, like, you can't, like, have a real tenant living in, like, a incomplete house. Like, you can't do that. So we got to start fresh, right? Like, this is not... Like, going to pass, like, housing codes, right? You got the guy's work boots, so it's probably definitely his worker guy. But it's also scary because you got a freaking baby crib and baby toys. Jesus Christ. This baby's living in a construction zone. So, like, whatever the owner currently has going on with this whole mess, uh, you don't want no part of that. I don't want no part of that, right? So we want to get this bad boy empty, right? We get this bad boy empty, and then we renovate it. What are we going to be able to do? We're going to be able to go ahead and put a Section 8 tenant in there at 9 hundo. 10800 a year, right? That 10800 a year after fixed and variable expense estimates, in my opinion, will deliver us an NOI of 5423 As for price, how much do we got to pay to get that NOI? Well, the owner's asking for thirty five k. I think that's too much. I think we should only be paying twenty five k. If they don't take twenty five k, we got to move on. It's not going to work as a bird deal because we got to do forty thousand dollars of work to this house, right? Like, it looks fine on the outside, but you saw on the inside, like, it's it's torn apart. We got to do everything, right? Like, usually in cosmetic rentals, a lot of times too, we're like repainting, patching some holes. But this one, we're literally laying like new drywall. I'm sure the like the whole thing's a mess, dude. Top to bottom, my team has to do the whole thing. You're looking at a 40 spot, okay? So that's gonna put you all in at 65. But this, this is where it gets magical, folks. This is where it gets magical. This is where buy, renovate, rent refinance and repeat is amazing right by the way we're going to make this offer at 25k with the condition that the owner gets his handyman or quote unquote tenant or whatever the fuck he's got going on we don't want no part of that right usually i say hey man if there's tenants in there you want to inherit them want to keep them in there as long as you can but this like you can't consider this a real tenant man again like the house is not like meeting minimum <laughs> building code standards as it sits so like we need it empty right so 25 40 puts us all in at 65 but this is the magic of the burr right 
We're all in at 65. We're getting that 900 in rent. We're getting the 5,400 in, in pure NOI, right? We go ahead and get it appraised now, right? That's the magical part, right? After you fix it, the appraised value is supposed to be more than the acquisition and the rehab, which ours should be more by 10K. I think we're going to create $10,000 of actual pure equity doing this. Puts us at a 75K RV. Meaning the bank gives us 56 and a quarter back. We spent 65, bank gives us back 60, 56 and a quarter, okay? That's a 30% ROI, right? So now you're making a 30% ROI. You only have $8,750 left into the building. It's a great long term investment in the Cleveland market. Elyria, just west of Cleveland, it's like, oh no, 30, 35 minutes west. It is a solid C grade neighborhood, dude. Holton Wise has a ton of properties in Elyria. I happen to actually like the city of Elyria better for investors than I actually like the city of Cleveland, right? Cleveland's been on the map for a very long time, so I feel like uh, things are getting a little inflated when you're comparing them to Elyria. Now, it's still cheaper than other places in the country, right? But you hear people say Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. You got the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Cleveland Browns, et cetera, et cetera, right? LeBron, Cleveland this, Cleveland that. Ain't nobody ever say anything about Elyria, though, right? So you're close to Cleveland, but it's a little off the radar. So I think we can actually turn better returns, right? Like, I think this deal would probably run us 5 to 10K more for, like, the identical deal if it was actually in the city of Cleveland. So, folks, this is one of the best, easiest, smoothest ways to pull off a bird deal in the Cleveland market. My team will do everything for you, right? I'll help you put in the offer. I will negotiate with those sellers. I will try to beat them down from 35K to 25K on your behalf. My team will then go out, handle that $40,000 renovation, handle the property management, put in a new tenant, do the tenant screening before we put in the tenant, of course. That'd be crazy if we did it backwards. You know what I'm saying? We do it all. So it don't matter to me where you live. If you're trying to invest in Cleveland, you're trying to pull off bird deals, we are the team to do it for you, folks. Over $200 million of sales of this very type of asset, largest scattered site portfolio in the Cleveland market, right? So that's how we're going to do this deal. Let me know if you want to do it. And if you're a first-time viewer to Holton Wise TV and you want to stay in tune with how to make money in Cleveland, you bet your ass, you better subscribe to Holton Wise TV. Peace. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.